it's not new to say that we're facing a lot of challenges with poor metabolic health. And this isn't just obesity. What we know are that, that diseases such as diabetes and prediabetes and cardiovascular conditions and dementia all have a major metabolic underlying cause. We and others had looked at this muscle called the soleus muscle. It's the primary muscle that we use in our lower leg for standing, walking, and running. It has a whole different set of both anatomical and cellular properties that make it special. So what we learned was that if you can activate the muscle through a specific type of way, then it will use more energy than normal. It looks simple from the outside, but sometimes what we see with our naked eye isn't the whole story. The specific type of soleus contractions that we developed and have been testing, we call a soleus push-up. You can do it while sitting, which we know we do a lot of since the average person sits about 10 hours a day. From the outside, if you were to zoom in on the ankle, it would look a lot like if you're walking, such that the ankle is bending and the heel is rising. However, internally, it's exactly the opposite. And that's part of the secret sauce to this, is that instead, when doing this activity, the muscle is simultaneously shortening while the motor neurons are activating intensely. With walking, the exact opposite is happening in that the muscle is turned off once the heel starts to rise. And what we showed is that people could lower their blood glucose with a single session of doing soleus muscle contractions by about 50%. And the magnitude rivals what you would see in the hours after exercise or any other type of therapy. And we don't know of any therapeutic approach, even the strongest pharmaceuticals that come close to raising metabolic rate as much as activating 1% of your body's weight through sustained soleus contractions. What we developed was a way that people can sustain muscle contractile activity for hours, not minutes, and doing that, they were able to use a special mixture of fuels. Instead of using intramuscular glycogen, which is the stored carbohydrate, they were able to use fuels that came from the blood, such as blood glucose and blood lipoproteins. I'd like to tell you that this is a simple new fitness trick. It's not a hack. Um, 